Right, hello everybody. Uh, this will only be a quick video, it's just to show a project I've been working on. Um, it's mainly of interest to some of my A-level students who are making uh, pan and tilt mechanisms to move a camera up and down. All this is is a demonstration of how you can make one of these wicked little Xbox uh, joystick modules control two servo motors in the X and the Y axis, say you were moving a camera back and forth, uh, or a robot arm, these could be different joints of the robot arm. These little things you can buy on eBay now for a couple of quid, um, they're really good, so it's literally is an Xbox control joystick, the two potentiometers, one in the X axis, one in the Y axis, and they come with a button as well, so you can actually click it and get that to do things. This is hooked up to a Pickaxe 20 M2 chip. Um, I've written some code, which I won't go into now, but what the code allows me to do is just by moving this joystick back and forth, left and right, I can move these two servos proportionately. So for my students, if you want the code for this to kind of help you with your projects, then send me an email and I'll send it through to you. Anyone on internet land as well, if you want a copy, send me an email, and if you sound like a nice bloke, I might send it through to you. Right, here we go. So moving up. So this would be one axis, maybe the x-axis. Um, it's programmed so if you move it quickly or to the extremes of the movement, it responds quicker. Uh, moving left to right moves the other axis, as you can see. So you can imagine this could be your pan and that could be your tilt mechanism. Uh, the final bit that's programmed in is if you, uh, from any position, if you click the Xbox button, both of them return to their home position, like so. Okay. So really simple pan and tilt mechanism, um, very, very accurate. The code is way too complicated to go into now, um, but it, well, it looks complicated. <laughs> That's because I'm really obsessive with writing comments, but it's fairly straightforward once you can decipher it. Anyway, that was just a illustration.